Hey everybody, so I've been making a lot of videos the past two weeks mainly because Chinese brands have no chill They're basically pumping out a new phone every like five days Which is good news for me as a tech reviewer because I get a lot of gadgets to test But man, sometimes I look at it from the eyes of the consumer And I think they might be like, what the hell man, there's a new phone every week But anyway, so in the past two weeks alone, I've tested the Vivo X27 Pro The Lenovo Z6 Pro and the Oppo Reno. This is not the 10x zoom, this is the standard Oppo Reno and the Meiju 16S. But the good thing about Chinese people is that we're a hard working bunch, man. So the in display fingerprint sensor tech that first made its debut with the Vivo X21, that scanner wasn't good. I remember using it, I was impressed by technology, but it wasn't reliable at all. But Vivo and the company behind the scanner have worked hard to improve the technology and now I'm really impressed by the optical sensor offered in Vivo phones, like the Vivo X27. I mean, this to me is just about as good as an actual hardware fingerprint sensor. Like, I'm amazed at how fast and how accurate it is. It's almost basically like 99.9% .9 accuracy, which is something I can't say for the Samsung Galaxy S10's fingerprint sensor. I mean, in theory, you look at it, it works the same way. You put your finger on the screen and then the screen will light up. But... I find it to be unreliable because Samsung uses a different technology from the in-display fingerprint sensor found in Vivo phones or other devices. So let me talk, go back to the Vivo devices scanner first. So this is an optical scanner. So what it does is there's a driver underneath the screen that sends lights through the OLED panels to pick up your fingerprint. So that's how it's scanning your finger through the screen via light. On the Samsung Galaxy S10's ultrasonic display, what it does is um, it uses sound vibrations, kind of like a radar, to blast vibrations through the screen. And then what it does is it will map a 3D shape of your finger to unlock. So this technology was developed by Qualcomm in partnership with Samsung, I believe. And supposedly, according to Samsung anyway, it's more secure than the optical sensor found in, say, a Vivo device. Now, I say secure with air quotes because in the past month, I've heard a story or read it on the news that someone was able to trick the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S10. I haven't read such news for any optical sensor yet. The optical scanner in the Vivo X27, it's by a Sengen company named Goodix, G-O-O-D-I-X, and they actually are the main suppliers for most of those phones I just mentioned. So the Huawei P30 Pro, which also has a really awesome, really accurate fingerprint sensor, also uses the scanner from Goodix, so does the Oppo Reno and the Lenovo Z6 Pro. And you see all these scanners are super, super fast compared to on my Galaxy S10, which there's like a half a second delay between my finger pressing the screen and the screen actually lighting up. But there's actually one more player in the optical scanner game, and they are Taiwan-based Aegis Tech, E-G-I-S-T-E-C-H, and they're the ones that developed the scanner in this phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy A70. So that means the fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy A70 is actually different from the fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy S10. One is an ultrasonic scanner from Qualcomm. The other is an optical scanner from Taiwan. And then meanwhile, the Huawei device and the Vivo devices I have using an optical scanner from China, Southern China, Shenzhen. And you know, I've tested all of these phones and from my personal usage, I've long found that the scanner on the Vivo and Huawei devices, which is the optical scanner from Goodix, is better than the ultrasonic scanner from um, Qualcomm, the Samsung Galaxy S10. But you know what, every time I mention that in one of my videos, there will be people that jump in the comments to tell me I'm wrong, that the Samsung Galaxy S10 scanner is indeed better than the optical scanners. So I figure since I have all the phones, I might as well do a test with cameras pointing at the phone so you guys, the viewers, can decide. And I'm not just going to do a simple like test under perfect conditions too. I have water, I have cooking oil, and I have a glass protector. So I'm going to try these scanners under multiple different conditions just to see which one of the three. We have the optical from China, the optical from Taiwan, and an ultrasonic from Qualcomm. We'll see which scanner is the fastest and most accurate. So, so before I even start the test, I'm going to wipe my fingerprint and re-register just so I can have a completely even playing field across all devices. So I'm going to do this part on video just so um, people can't accuse me of trickery, but you're welcome to fast forward. 
Okay, so we'll start with the Vivo X27. I'm gonna delete my fingerprints and then re-register. So I'm gonna register thumbs on both sides. So I just added my left thumb, now I'm gonna add my right thumb. Okay, so now I've added both thumbs to the Vivo X27. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the Samsung Galaxy A70. Okay, so we're done. So now we'll check the scanner. Okay, so it works. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same with the Samsung Galaxy S10 with its uh, ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. Okay, so I've just registered my left and right thumb onto all three scanners. I have Qualcomm's ultrasonic scanner, an optical scanner from Aegis Tech, and another optical scanner from Goodix. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to, let's try the ultrasonic versus optical first. Okay, so I'm going to wipe my fingers first, wipe my thumbs. Just because I don't want anyone to accuse me of shenanigans, man. I don't want people to be like, oh, you like put dirt on one of your fingers. Okay. Okay, so the Vivo's optical scanner from Goodex clearly won this round. We'll try again with different hands. So I'm going to swap different fingers just in case like one finger's fingerprint is more clear than the other. So once again, the optical scanner on the Vivo X27 from Goodex beat the ultrasonic scanner from Samsung. Now we'll try Samsung's optical from Taiwan against Samsung's uh, ultrasonic. Okay, so Samsung's ultrasonic from Qualcomm beat the optical from Taiwan's Aegis Tech. We'll try it again. Okay, so it appears that the optical scanner on the Samsung Galaxy A70 from Aegis Tech is the slowest of the three so far. So I'm gonna scan my index fingers too, just to help with a variance, just in case that like there's something wrong with one of my thumbs or something. Okay. We'll try again. Yeah. So the optical scanner on the Vivo X27 won again. Now we'll try with the screen on. Yeah, it still wins. So now round two, I'm gonna put a screen protector, a tempered glass screen protector on top of the screen just to see if it gets in the way. So it seems to be working well on the Vivo X27, the optical scanner. Now we'll put the same glass. This is actually a glass for the Galaxy S10, so it fits the S10 screens perfectly. So now we'll see if the optical, uh, the ultrasonic sensor works as fast. Uh, no. Okay, so let me press the screen on a little tighter. Okay. Like, it's straight up not picking up my finger right now, the ultrasonic scanner. Okay, now let's try the optical scanner on the Samsung Galaxy A70. Let's put the screen on first. Okay, it works, but it's quite slow. Okay, so now round three. Uh, I'm gonna wet my thumbs and try to see whether or not the optical and ultrasonic can pick it up. So now I'm gonna wet my right thumb and my left thumb. So 
just so you guys know I'm not cheating my thumbs are completely in the water so they are pretty wet okay Ooh, both of them failed okay the optical scanner lit up first but they both took multiple tries maybe that's a fluke so let's try it again So I'm gonna wet my finger again, just just a little bit, not as much as last time. I think last time I, I wet I wet it a little bit too much. So now both my fingers have like a drop of water on it. Let me wipe the water off the screen. Oh, they both failed again. So it appears like water really gets in the way of both scanners i'll do it th this way i'm gonna get a drop of water onto the screen of each phone but supposedly the benefit of the optical scanner was that it can handle water a little bit better but it seems to be not the case the vivo scanner is still winning here so now as you can see both phones have about equal um, amount of water on it it's like basically like a drop each so we'll use both thumbs Oh, they're not picking up at all. Ooh, okay. The optical scanner one again, it lit up. The Samsung Galaxy, it took like five tries. I'm not even gonna, actually, I'll test this too. So this is the optical scanner from Taiwan again. So I'm gonna wet my thumb just a little bit. Yeah, it is not picking up. So, so far it's only round three, but it seems like the Aegis Tex optical scanner from Taiwan is the worst of the three. And the best is the optical scanner from uh, GoodX, which is in Vivo and Huawei devices. See, so my wet thumb cannot unlock the Samsung Galaxy A70. It cannot unlock the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, but it can unlock my Huawei P30 Pro, which uses optical scanner. And let's see, it unlocks my Oppo or my Vivo X27 Pro. Damn. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour a little bit of cooking oil. Man, this is gonna be gross, man. I hate when your fingers are greasy from oil, but gonna have to do it for, for YouTube, for technology. Okay, so now I have a uh, cooking oil in this tub let me wipe wipe both screens down so just to show you again the scanner works still yeah okay yeah gross so now I got both my thumbs kind of drenched in oil Let's try with the screen on so I can get the fingerprint sensor. Okay, they both fail, probably because my finger is just too much oil. Okay, so now I have just a little bit of oil on there. You see it's a little bit shiny on both thumbs. Let me wipe this. Oh, okay, the optical scanner beat the ultrasonic again. We'll try this optical scanner from Aegis. They are both failing. Damn. So I'm gonna wipe my finger quite a bit now, but I still have a little bit of oil on it, obviously. Yeah, it's, it works now, but it's really slow. I mean, look at this. Now compare it to the optical scanner on the Vivo X27 Pro. It's more immediate, right? My finger is still a little bit greasy. So the verdict is basically out. 
the optical scanner on the Vivo X27 Pro and the Huawei P30 Pro and the Lenovo ZX Pro. Man, all these Chinese phones really like naming the phones Pro. They are all faster and more accurate than the fingerprint sensor on Samsung Galaxy S10. I mean, check it out. This is the Lenovo ZX Pro. Just look at how fast the phone is unlocking every single time. On um, my Huawei P30 Pro. I mean, it's basically like 99.9% .9 accuracy and it unlocks every single time. Look how fast this is. On the Vivo X27 Pro. Now on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It's not too bad, but as we've seen from all the tests, this fails a lot more than the optical scanner. You know what? I'm just going to do one more test just to leave no doubt. So I'm going to clean my finger a little bit more. Just one more side-by-side -side test. Optical on my right, Vivo X27 Pro, ultrasonic on my left, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Yeah, so those of you who have left me comments saying Samsung's fingerprint scanner is better than the scanner in the Huawei P30 Pro or Vivo phones, no, you're wrong. Vivo and Huawei, they use optical scanners that are faster and more accurate than the ultrasonic scanner in the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So that's it for now. Make sure to stay tuned to my channel. I have more videos coming up from all the other phones I just mentioned. Uh, new phone from Honor, new phone from Realme, and the OnePlus 7 Pro. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.